From Curt to Courteous, the seven touch points of communication. I know it sounds like a big job. How can we master the seven touch points of communication? Well, actually, it's easier than you might think. You see, each one has similarities or things in common with the other communication pipelines. Let's look at one set of characteristics. Synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous communication is an immediate two-way back and forth exchange of information. Both parties who are communicating need to be doing the same thing at the same time, one after the other. Touchpoint examples of synchronous communication methods are in face-to-face -face conversations, on the telephone, and using instant messaging. We use these synchronous communication methods when we want a real-time discussion, where there's a need for immediate back-and-forth information exchange so decisions can be made rapidly. Hey, Carrie, let's get together at lunch this week and go over that new project for the Walker Group. What day's good for you? Sure. How about Thursday? Sounds great. I'll see you then. Hey, Carrie, let's get together at lunch this week and go over that new project for the Walker Group. What day's good for you? Sure, Joe. How about Thursday? Okay, sounds great. We'll see you then. Carrie, let's get together at lunch this week to go over that new project for the Walker Group. What day are you available? Sure, Joe. How about Thursday? Now, let's consider the opposite characteristic, asynchronous. These are methods where the communication is a one-way flow of information, and any replies are usually delayed. Asynchronous communication can still be a very effective method of dealing with customers or coworkers as long as both parties accept the lack of real-time back-and-forth interaction, which is inherent in asynchronous communications. Letter, fax, voicemail, email. These are all one-way messages. The expectation is you'll need to wait a period of time if a response is needed. Because they're very useful when immediate replies aren't time-sensitive, asynchronous communication methods can be very convenient for business. Each party can send and receive the message when it's convenient to their individual schedule and workload. Well, now we understand some of the features of synchronous and asynchronous communications. What other characteristics do these seven touch points have in common? Well, consider this. Face-to-face, -face, phone, and voicemail all rely on the spoken word. The written word is used for email, letter, instant messaging, and fax. And both spoken communications, as well as the written word, each have their own special characteristics which make them useful when conducting business communications. The purpose of this course is to